Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome back to writing. So the last time that we talked and saw this writing piece was back on Monday. So now it is Friday, and we are going to be talking, going back to my um, writing that, um, and you have your own personal writing that you've been working on, and you're going to be watching me um, adding some adjectives and adverbs to the writing so that um, we can improve our writing and make it nicer and add and adding some things so that it um, flows nicer. So here we go. <clears throat> so as you can see with the yellow, we already um, added our capitalizations and our punctuation. So today we are only just going to read over it and see if we can add some nice adjectives and adverbs from the lessons that we have been working with this week. So let's get started. The so Southwestern Swim Competition is only two weeks away. The coaches have been doubling up on the swim practice to make sure the swimmers were prepared to win the competition. Okay. Um, Nicole was so nervous, her hands were clenched into a fist. Um, hmm, I think I might not be able to add something there. Nicole was so nervous, her, hand, her hands were clenched into a fist. Uh, maybe not. Uh, she had been dreaming of being one of the top four fastest swimmers in her race of specialty. Nicole always swam the 100-yard freestyle. 100 yards of swimming is four laps. Every day. Um, well, instead of maybe, well, yes. So every day in the hot afternoon. So just adding a few details here. So hot, I'm going to have adjectives be the color. Let's do the color red. All right, so adjectives are going to be the red. All right. The swimmers would be timed how fast they could swim in their specialty events. Nicole would swim her heart out every time. She would slam herself into the wall at the end of every set. Coaches would shout her times. Minute and five seconds. Whoop. Minute and two seconds. Minute and ten seconds. Um, after she heard her times, her face would become hot, her teeth clenched, and her eyes welled up in tears. Nicole could not understand why she couldn't make her call. Her friend Danny said, to just keep trying and it will all work out. Promise. That's the beginning part. Here we go. The day of the swim competition had finally arrived. Nicole's 100 freestyle race was next. She waited behind the diving block. Her heart was pounding faster and faster as the race before her was coming to an end. Um, her body was so nervous, her muscles were tight and stiff. She started stretching her arms by swinging them forward and backward like a windmill on a windy day. The race before hers had finally ended. Swimmers emerged out of the water. Ooh, maybe let's add something here. Uh, emerge out of the crisp, crispy water, crispy, um, chilly water. Okay, so that's going to be red. Okay. The first four swimmers who placed for the com, whoa, we're going to check our spelling here for the competition competition received their medals. Nicole was next. She closed her eyes and took a deep slow breath. Um, her mind was clear. Her mind was clear. Comma. That was a comma we should have fixed a while ago, my goodness. All right, so we're going to do that yellow. Her body had become loose and ready. She stepped up to the diving block. Okay. The referee talked at the mic. Swimmers, take your mark. The pool deck was silent. Beep, splash. All right, Nicole and all the swimmers dove right into the cool, cool water, adding some descriptive words. Because the water was cool. It was definitely not warm. Nicole's feet were kicking like the person escaping from a man-eating jerk. 
every stroke, Nicole pushed and pulled with all of her strength, looking from side to side, seeing her competitors matching her speed. The race was coming to an end fast. Nicole's muscles were aching and burning with how fast she was swimming. Slam! She grabbed the wall to finish her race. It was the moment of truth. What was her time? Nicole, lifting her head out of the water, out of the, out of the cool, so adding adjectives out of the cool water, and looked straight at the large scoreboard. At the large scoreboard. Lane four, fourth place. Time, 58 seconds. Yes, Nicole finally achieved her goal. She lifted herself out of the water. And, oh, hang on. Jones, if you are in the building, please come to the front office. Landon Jones, if you are in the building, please come to the front office. Okay, so um, we're continuing. Yes, this class is still going on. All right, so um, she lifted herself out of the water and was jumping and was jumping for joy, but also trying to catch her heavy, heavy breath. Oop, I spelled heavy wrong. Let's see. Heavy breath. Her heavy breath from swimming so hard. Because you can probably imagine <sighs> heavy breath. All right. Nicole realized no matter how hard the challenges are, to never give up and keep trying your best. All right. Well, um, so boys and girls, you were watching me add some extra details, not too much, but just a couple of extra details to make our writing a little bit, give us more visual to what we are reading. Boys and girls. So this is exactly what you are going to be doing um, today. Today, you are going to add adjectives and adverbs to your writing. And you don't have to add um, adverbs because adverbs are a little tricky sometimes and that's okay. So just do your best and just add a couple of extra details to certain nouns and certain verbs. Because remember, adverbs describe verbs. So that is all that you're gonna be doing for today, boys and girls. It has been a pleasure to be teaching you today and I will talk to you next time. Farewell.